What was your first crime ever? Hot chick shotgun marijuana smoke into my mouth. I create a club penguin account without asking my parents. I created a how to train your dragons account without asking my parents. Torched thousands of newspapers across my city when we got into a feud with the local paper. I was 10 I think. Obviously I had help. Statute of limitations covers me. Walking into Walmart through the exit. I'm probably the most badass criminal ever. No hex given. Walking running into the lower half door they used to have for the cards only. Stay right where you are. Whispering boys, we've found him. Led Zeppelin named an album after you. Complete accident. I had a pack of bubble tape in my hands and was going to put it on the conveyor when my mom's boyfriend told me to help load the cart so we could pay and leave. I stuck the bubble tape in my pocket and forgot about it till we got home. I accidentally stole a sucker by forgetting it was in my pocket once. I stole candies and when my babysitter saw them, she asked me where did you get those? And I said oh a man came up to me and offered me candy, so I took it. Excellent. You got your candy and made your babysitter feel like she was failing at her job. Not me. My cousin shoplifted a little list pet shop set. She was too. Stealing batteries for my maglite so I could stay up really late reading because my parents started feeling the light bulb in my lamp to see if it was hot. Then I moved on to the tiny light bulbs for maglites when those started burning out. My teachers were getting really concerned because I was falling asleep in class, but I was going through a red wall book every few days while the other kids were struggling with the boxcar children. But, you were reading. Did your parents not encourage you to spend your reading time more wisely at least? After school and homework, there wasn't a ton of time left over for the amount of reading I wanted to do. Lol, well at least reading was your priority over a lot of other things haha. I didn't upvote a post, even though it made me laugh. Stole a pack of smokes for my mother when they were kept in like spiny racks at the beginning of checkout lines. I was about 8. Did she make you do it, or did you decide to do it? Stole you GIO cards as a kid. Still kinda feel guilty about it. Lol when I was a kid I was at a store and opened every pack of UGR cards and took the ones I liked. Breaking and entering that egg. I stole a necklace from Claire's it was incredibly easy then I stole from some teen clothing stores. Also incredibly easy. I told my mom that my friends gave me these things the reality was I was picked on for not having cool clothes and we couldn't afford clothes. So I lived on hand-me-downs that looked bad and made me more picked on. So I stole things, hoping it would make people like me. Narrator it didn't work, the reality of being too poor changes how you act, and it's deeper than the clothes you wear. It's all about the heart, if you're good inside, be sure, it'll be good around. Carrot this rule does not apply in certain places. Things got better later. Teens are just in a mental state that leads to tribal type behavior without much empathy or larger worldview. That makes those teenage years really difficult for some. Most people grow up though. Turns out a tragic backstory eventually makes you interesting and people start liking you. Accidentally pulled a fire alarm. Now every time I'm anywhere near those things my anxiety assumes full control. I've never pulled one, but even when I walk by I get nervous, afraid I'm gonna trip and have to grab onto something as I fall and I accidentally pull it. I pulled one of those eat defibrillator things when I was 6, just to see what it would do. Stole some gift cards without any money on them, I was 4. Stole Beyblades from stores then sold then at school. Stealing gum from the store. Just took a piece from a multipack, unwrapped and started chewing. I was too young to really understand. When I was 4, I found some modeling clay that oil based kind on my neighbor's doorstep. It had all kinds of colors swirled into it. I took it. A week later my mom found it under my bed. She said if the police came, they would put a lie detector hat on my head, and if I lied, the light would turn red. I started crying. I returned the clay. I wore a navy blazer with black pants. Stealing my dad's keyboard, so I can trash talk on Sparks messages faster. I slept at 10pm when my bedtime was at 9pm. Oh and I said frickin' church. 
A my bedtime was 8.30 p.m. and I slept at 2.0 a.m. I stole over $200 worth of Barbie stuff when I was 12. Of course over a span of a few weeks. I'm gonna go with smoking. My brother and I smoked my dad's refreeze when I was maybe 5 or 6. After that, I stole a can of olives from the grocery by mistake. I put them in my hoodie pocket and forgot about them. When I got home my mom said she would have to call the cops and take me to jail. I cried a lot and I never stole after that. Pushing the door that says to pull. Uh, I shoplift like a moderate bit but you can't prove I didn't pay for the stuff because I threw the receipts away. My brother and I stole several hundred dollars worth of UGI cards and used to sell them to kids in the neighborhood. I'm a goody too she's that scared of getting in trouble. The most criminal thing I have done is pirate a movie lol. I signed up for Disney Channel Point Com without getting my parents permission. Being born and stealing my parents freedom, losers never saw it coming. I allegedly shot a roman candle at a car. Walked out of a gas station with a little tube of M&Ms as a 4 year old. I took them out before we got to the car though and my mom made me go give it back and beg for forgiveness. Stole some Pokemon cards. I felt so bad that I never opened the pack and next time I was at the store I snuck them back onto the shelf. In kindergarten I used to take the empty pill bottles for some reason. Earliest I can remember is stealing bags of chips out of a vending machine at a funeral home. It was around Christmas time and whatever store we were in had those plastic candy canes that have candy in them. One of them was broken, so I took a hearse's kiss from it and ate it. I was about 5. I was convinced the police were going to come and take me away. I was about 6 years old and my oldest brother and cousin talked me into egging the neighbor's house. We lived on a lake, and it was during the daytime, so I was caught quickly. Killing one of those weird butterfly bugs with a hairbrush. I was like 2, and I grabbed a bracelet from the shelf my mom didn't take it back inside, and I still have it. My sisters and I would steal candy out of the bulk candy area at the commissary when my mom wasn't paying attention. I still feel guilty for it 30 years later. Stole a Pokemon plushie when I was 5. Turning on the map light in the car. When I was 5 I threw my chocolate wrapper on the ground at the park. Stole Tic Tacs from a gas station. Taking candy from the bulk beans at the grocery store as a child. Theft. I was a toddler and didn't understand the concept. It was a handful of cinnamon gummy bears. Probably underage drinking, or for the part, contributing alcohol to minors. Jaywalking. First actual crime, probably theft. I threw a plastic bag out of the car window on the highway when I was like 9. Stealing the demo discs from video game magazines. Stole a packet of crisps from a school fate. Underaged possession of alcohol. Probably like the most common effing one out there. I made my own quarters by cutting out thick cardboard and use the slugs in a pencil vending machine at school. Stealing the spot of being the favorite child. Take that little sister. My parents tell me when I was about 1 or 2 why oh we were shopping at Walmart. At one point they caught me laughing and eating what was going to be my dad's Mars bar through the wrapper before they had paid for it and had to apologize to the cashier. I had my first taste of chocolate and became a thief that day. Downloading mp3s on Limuaya when I was 9 or 10. Stole a magazine from a church after they told me I couldn't have it. I was about 10. Accidentally walked off the gates at the underground without using my public transport card. Accidentally. I tried my damn desk to buy some dishes from World Market, but there was no one at any of the registers for like 20 minutes, so I just left with them. Throwing pears under passing cars, I was 6, I was caught really quickly. Got a lecture, never done crime again except game piracy, they are just super expensive here. Stealing a gold package of some toys called, Go-Go's if I remember correctly. This was at a Walgreens and they were like $16 the box which contained about 20 of the original characters, but in a gold coating. 
It took me like 20 minutes to spot out where the cameras were pointing at, so that I could find a blind spot where I would unwrap the box and put all of the toys in my pocket without the employees seeing me at the same time. I swear it felt like I was doing a heist or something. Stealing a swatter when I was 6 or so. Broke into a house and stole some Pokemon cards. Jaywalking, first and then I guess trespassing onto a military base and running from the military police would be second. Shoplifted some flower seeds. It was an accident, I put them in my pocket so I would be able to carry something with both hands and forgot about it until I got home. I stole a Kit Kat from an Albertsons when I was about 12. I stole toys from my kindergarten class. They were little plastic green miniatures from some toy set. One was a train, another was a whale. Also, probably the first thing I stole was a little blue plastic Indian figure. I wish I still had it. Breaking all the windows of my neighbor's house and stealing a mug. I stole a Barbie movie when I was 5 from Best Buy. I also committed what could technically count as identity theft and stole money when I was like 6 or 7, but that's another story. My first memorable crime was at a 7-Eleven. I grew up in a rough neighborhood and a few of my friends weren't the best influences. They were pretty good at stealing, and I was always too scared. The day I decided to steal I tried walking out with a $4 bag of cotton candy. The cashier spotted me immediately due to my abnormally huge pocket. Stealing 50 bucks from my mom when I was 11, thinking about it is so cringy, of course she noticed we weren't exactly rich, and she just came to ask calmly yet sorrowful, and I caved in almost immediately, giving it back to her, does that count as a crime? Stealing Spongebob hairpin things from Dollar Tree, I think you can tell that I was a dumb kid. I stabbed my sister understand the eye with a pencil when I was 5. She okay, her eyes okay. I stole a toy when I was a toddler. Trespassing hands down. Just running around the neighborhood. Stealing a Lego brick from my friend. Good question. I had a glass of wine with my family when I was 13 however, I did other things too. I think it was in primary school when I spent the money my parents gave me to buy a ticket for the underground on sweets and went without a ticket. When I was 6 or 7 years old my grandma gave me some money to buy this huge decorated gingerbread cookie at the store. They were wrapped in plastic food wrap and two had stuck together. The cashier didn't notice it and as soon as she gave the cookies to me, I left the store as fast as my little feet could go. Am I a horrible criminal? Yep. Would I do it again if I could go back in time? Definitely yes. I was trying to buy a piece of sour gum for one Philippines peso and saw one wrapper that had two gums in it. I pretended it was only one gum when I paid. I hung a pair of shoes I wanted on my sibling's pram, told mum they were there and that I wanted to try them on. An hour or so later we both forgotten about the shoes and mum walked us out the shop with the shoes still there. When we got home mum was really mad at me and said I'd have to go tell them I was a thief and take them back tt it was just a mistake I swear. Stole a lip gloss from Bath and Body Works when I was 13, 14. My dad used to let me have sips of his beer when I was like 5, so I guess it's underage drinking. I stole a yar of Samiak powder from a candy store when I was around 9 years old. Yes, I liked Samiak. I accidentally stole an orange from a nigger, I was 6, so I broke down crying thinking I was gonna go to jail. I ended up going back into the store with my mum to actually buy it, so I kinda became a criminal at 6 lol. At the party someone took my hoodie, since there were cold outside I took someone else's. I still have it, and wear it from time to time. Also when I was student, and was at the party, after I run out of money I stole people's drinks. I found tobacco my brother left in the bathroom. I was 9 ish he was late teens. I was a naive idiot and thought it was like those things of jerky. I ate some. Then I bathed. I bathed a lot. I thought it was one of those jerky stuff things. Maybe. During one of the peer pressure drug use presentations in 5th grade, we were handed out questionnaires about whether we'd done drugs. I consulted with my friends. After many tears, they were like you have to tell the truth. And I did. I marked yes. 
the teachers and my parents had a good laugh about this. Meanwhile I thought I'd be arrested.